A search effort is underway in Bemidji for a missing teenager. Jeremy Jordan was last seen on Halloween night and has not been heard from since. Mel Meyer has more. And then some other ones go on the other side of the street. Jeremy Jordan was with friends at an apartment near Lucan South before suddenly leaving. Ethan Burnett says he chased after Jordan near the New Life Church area of Nymour. And I followed him all the way over to this area here, and then he took off into the houses around here and haven't seen him since. Family members describe him as a quiet, good kid who preferred to be at home. They say he's never done this before. So we're just really, really worried, really concerned. You know, we just want him home safe. Jordan lives in Cass Lake, but was supposed to be staying with his sister who lives near the church. He does not have a working cell phone on him. He's not been on any of his social media accounts or his gaming accounts since then, so we've just been really worried about him. The family is going door to door, asking residents to help assist with the search. Keep an eye out, uh, search around your property, old cars, whatever, sheds, anything. The Leech Lake Department of Resource Management looked in the swamp areas by the Sanford Center this morning. Border Patrol and Minnesota State Patrol have been performing aerial searches of the wooded areas nearby. The Bemidji Police say this is an active investigation. It's believed that he may be somewhere um, between here and Cass Lake. Um, it's kind of a large area, so the more we can narrow it down through information, uh, the better results we can expect. Jeremy's family says they will continue to look for him until he is found. In Bemidji, I'm Mal Meyer, Lakeland News. Jeremy is described as a 17-year-old Native American male. He's 6 foot 4 inches tall, weighs about 175 pounds. He was last seen wearing a gray and blue hooded sweatshirt with gray sweatpants. Anyone with information on Jordan's current whereabouts or if you've had contact with him, you are urged to call the Bemidji Police Department. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.